So how should it end? Black Mama doesn't end. Heroes come and go. But legends are forever. <laughs> Meshi? Hey, kid. Kobe Bryant? Would you like to have some ice cream, young man? Ice cream? Tea. And without hesitation, he said, I would have five more girls if I could. I'm a girl dad. When it came to sports, he said that his oldest daughter was an accomplished volleyball player and that the youngest was a toddler, so TBD. But that middle one, he said, that middle one was a monster. She's a beast. She's better than I was at her age. She's got it. That middle one, of course, was Gigi. When I reflect on this tragedy and that half an hour that I spent with Kobe Bryant two years ago, I suppose that the only small source of comfort for me is knowing that he died doing what he loved the most, being a dad, being a girl dad. Why, why were you in the gym for so long? He's like, because I saw you come in. And I, and I wanted you to know that it doesn't matter how hard you work, that I'm willing to work harder than you. If your job is to try to be the best basketball player you can be, mm -hmm. right? to do that, you have to practice, you have to train. Right? You want to train as much as you can, as often as you can. So if you get up at 10 in the morning, train at 11, right? 12, say 12, train at 12, train for two hours, 12 to 2. Um, you have to let your body recover. So you eat, recover, whatever. you get back out, you train, start training again at 6. Train from 6 to 8. Right? And now you go home, you shower, you eat dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, you do it again, right? Those are two sessions. Right? Now imagine you wake up at three, you train at four, you go four to six, come home, breakfast, relax, so, so, blah, blah, blah. now you're back at it again, nine to 11, right? You relax, and now all of a sudden you're back at it. You take a look, Chris Rock sitting right next to Kobe Bryant, shooting the breeze, telling jokes, and take a look at Kobe Bryant. I don't even hear you. I'm on a mission. Okay, cool. Perfect. That works. And then, oh, shoot. There you go. Kobe, I'm going to say a couple of words. I want you to say the first thing that comes to your mind. All right. Basketball. Love. Lakers. Win. Kobe Bryant. Win. Meta World Peace. Peaceful. Clippers. Second team. Ocean. Ocean. Freedom. We're not on the stage just because of talent or ability. We're up here because of 4 a.m. We're up here because of two-a-days or five-a-days. We're up here because we had a dream and let nothing stand in our way. If anything tried to bring us down, we used it to make us stronger. We were never satisfied, never finished, will never be retired. My high school English teacher, Mr. Fisk, I actually paid attention one time in class, and, and he said, he had this beautiful quote, and, he, and it read, rest at the end, not in the middle and I took that to heart I believe there's time for resting at the end but for me that time is not now thank you for this tremendous honor and acknowledging my basketball career but I'm far from done my next dream is to be honored one day for inspiring the next generation of athletes to have a dream sacrifice for it and never ever rest in the middle once upon a time there was a young basketball player who had dreams of becoming one of the greatest basketball players of all time. 17 years old, with the hunger, the motivation, and the desire to be the best possible basketball player that I could be. I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. A sense of purpose. No, a sense of purpose was there ever since I was a kid. I knew exactly, I, I felt like I knew what God put me on this earth to do. It was to play the game of basketball, I just loved it so much.
And once I came to the NBA and I looked around, I saw all the guys that weren't working as much as I was, then I started to understand that, you know, how I went about it is hard work. To me, it was just, I just... Wow, what a huge honor it is to be named NBA 2K18 Legend Edition Cover Athlete. I really wouldn't be here without the guidance, love, and support of my mom and dad. Also, I'd like to thank my coaches, both college and professional. But most of all, I'd like to thank Kobe Bryant. He was the NBA 2K Legend Cover Athlete first. He's so awesome and handsome and has really nice natural teeth. Wait, what? I'll be looking at his teeth. Full of a house of women. How do you deal with that? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's pretty cool with me, you know, because I, you know, it's uh, the daddy little princess. Yeah. You know? I keep te guys keep teasing me all the time. My friends say it takes a real man to make a boy. I'm like, dude, <laughs> it takes a king to make a princess. That Get in line. True. <laughs> yeah. That is very true. <laughs> Do you think your daughter might want to play in the WNBA? She does for sure. She does. Like, I, I don't. I mean, this, this kid, man. She's Wouldn't like, that be great, dude, man? I, I'm telling you. The, be, the best thing, the best thing that happens is when we go out and, and, and fans will come up to me and she'll be standing next to me and they'll be like, "Hey, you gotta have a boy. You and V gotta have a boy, man. You have somebody carry on the tradition, the legacy." She's like, "Oh, I got this." <laughs> <laughs> you know, boy, for that, I got this. I'm not doing well. I'm sick, you know, I haven't eaten, I haven't slept, I'm looking at all the tapes, I'm sick right now. We still are the best duo I ever created, that's not going to change, but I wish it's 60 and 70 in the old folks home or on the show, we could talk about it, but he will be remembered and uh, everybody's going to honor him and everything, but for me this is going to hurt a long time. And I love Kobe Bryant. I'm the first to say, hey, I got four rings, and I know I couldn't have got three without him. Great, okay? So then Kobe gets fouled. He comes to the line. He's eventually going to go out a couple of possessions later. He hits the first one for 59. He's at the line the second time. And you've got to watch on the free throw line, closest to Kobe, back to the camera, is Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward steps into the lane as Kobe's about to shoot that last free throw for 60 in case he missed it to give him another shot for 60. That, to me, was wow. the most unique example I could give to people of the fraternity of the NBA and the reverence for greatness in the NBA is at a different level than any of the other sports that we watch or cover. It was like Gordon Hayward, his team losing in this game. They blew a lead, blah, 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 blah. He had the complete wherewithal at 59 to just put a foot in the lane and look over at the ref just in case Kobe missed it, to make sure he got another shot at 60. That is just one of those things that... Because in the end, when you lose somebody, every candle, every prayer is not going to make up for the fact that the only thing that you have left is a hole in your life where that somebody that you cared about used to be. together on music's biggest night, celebrating the artists that do it best. But to be honest with you, we're all feeling crazy sadness right now. Because earlier today, Los Angeles, America, and the whole wide world lost a hero. And we're literally standing here heartbroken in the house that Kobe Bryant built. Buck, obviously, John's very emotional, guys. We'll send it back to you. Yes, definitely. You know, um, the reason why I wear 24 is because of Kobe. You know, um, uh, so whatever uh, it takes to, to honor him, you know, one of the greatest to ever do it. So if they want to retire with 24, I'll find a new number, go to eight, go to something. But 
um, find a way to relate back to the Kobe somehow, somewhere. It's the ultimate non-clutch game. Meantime, the Timberwolves, they win the opening tip, and they're going to not even possess the basketball. They're going to just let the shot clock run out, I would guess, now. And, and it's right at the spot where Kobe Bryant passed Michael Jordan. So Andrew gets the honor of putting it down where Kobe Bryant scored those two free throws, Dave. They have decided that whoever wins the tip, and in this case Toronto, they are going to let the shot clock run out because of the number 24 to honor Kobe Bryant. Fitting. Appropriate. As Fred Van Vliet holding on to it and the crowd recognizing what this means. Sean, how did these guys play? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, it'd be tough for me in this situation. This has been absolutely beautiful, you guys. I can't believe it's come to an end. Um, you guys will always be in my heart. And uh, what can I say? Mamba out. <laughs> Thank you, bro.